Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a wonderful day today. In today's video, I am gonna be talking all about this necklace right here. This is the Christian Dior CD Choker. And I have had this for quite a few months now, and I wanted to make sure I wore it so that way I could give you all of the positives and negatives because I know that a lot of you are really, really curious about this necklace. Now, I do own this CD necklace and I do also own the rhinestone or the crystal Dior necklace as well. So if you're curious about that necklace, make sure to check out that video. I kind of break it down and give you the positives and negatives of that one as well. But in today's video, we are going to be talking all about this one. I'm going to kind of give you the backstory, give you a description, go through the pros and the cons, and at the end, like usual, I will give my recommendation as to whether or not you should purchase this. So without further ado, if you guys are new to my channel, make sure to hit that little subscribe button and let's get right to the video. Okay, so let me really quickly give you the backstory on this necklace. If you have been following my journey for a while, you know that I went to Las Vegas in December with my husband. We went for kind of like a joint anniversary trip slash 40th birthday trip, you know, all the trips that we weren't able to take because of the pandemic. So we went there and I had in my mind that I was going to buy this choker because it was on my wish list forever. But I got out there, I tried this one on, and I also tried the Dior Rhinestone Choker on, or the Crystal Choker as well, and both the sales associate and my husband liked that one better, and my husband actually said that he would buy that one for me too, so it was a really, really special moment. So I ended up going with that one, okay? So fast forward a few weeks after that, I had a Saks Fifth Avenue gift card and my sales associate happened to have this necklace. So I thought to myself, well, you know what? They're very different necklaces, so why not have both, right? So I have this one, I have been loving it, I have been reaching for it quite a bit, but I wanted to break it down. So first, let, let me go through the description of the necklace. So let me get kind of like close up so you guys can really see. So this one right here, it is a gold finish metal. You can see it has the C D logo, which is absolutely beautiful. It is a chain link necklace, so it is rather thick. And then it also does have, let me spin this around so you can see. It does also have this lobster clasp right here. It is adjustable, which is really, really nice. And just for your reference, it is adjustable 37 to 45 centimeters, or in inches, it's 14.5 to 17.5 inches. So depending on the size of your neck, you can adjust it if you wanna wear it a little shorter or if you wanna wear it a little bit longer. So this necklace is a little pricey, but you have to keep in mind you are paying for the name. It is $750, which I had a really hard time paying that price considering it was fashion jewelry, but I will say, I have been wearing it quite a bit. It's definitely up to personal preference as to whether or not $750 is worth it to you. There might be some people that say, oh, $750, that's crazy. I can't believe you pay that for a necklace. But then someone else might spend $750 on, I don't know, an iPhone or something like that, the newest technology. And you're like, I don't know how you could spend that money on an iPhone. So it, it definitely depends on the person as to whether or not this is worth the money. So I want to go ahead and I want to kind of share with you some pros and some cons about the necklace. So I'm going to start with the pros. Okay, the first pro about the necklace is actually one thing we were just talking about. The fact that it is adjustable. I love that. So this can be like a one size fits all necklace because it's not just one size. In other words, you can adjust it to your neck size. If you have a smaller neck, you can adjust it to a shorter length. If you have a larger neck, you can adjust it. So that is one thing that is really nice. Another thing about this necklace that I really, really love is I feel like you can wear it casual or dressy, which is very important to me. So right now I just have a dress on. It is a really like casual, like beachy dress. And I think it kind of goes with the style. I have also worn it with a 
blazer and bodysuit so I've worn it to work and it looks really nice and I've also worn it with just like a plain white tee so this necklace is so incredibly versatile you might automatically think oh okay it's Christian Dior it's only dressy but I actually kind of find that this necklace in particular like I said it kind of depends on the outfit it really does but I think nothing looks better than when you wear it with just like a basic tee and jeans but that is one positive about this I love the fact that it is super versatile and you don't have to just wear it casual or dressy and that is one little thing about the Dior choker because it does have the rhinestones I do wear it casual but sometimes it can lean a little more towards the dressy side whereas I love the fact that this one can definitely you know you can wear it both ways Another thing I love about this necklace, it is very versatile in the sense where you can layer it and I will give you an example. So you can just wear it by itself or one thing you can do is you can layer it with another necklace and you guys know how much I love my layered necklaces. So I'm gonna give you an example here. I have this little pendant necklace I actually got from the Nordstrom anniversary sale and it has an S on it for my daughter's name. But you can see I have that paired with this necklace two totally different necklaces and I think it looks really nice if you wanted to add like another chain here you could so that's the one thing I like you can either wear it alone or you can change it up by layering it and by layering it that's just like let's say you want to wear this necklace every day but you don't want it to make it look like you're wearing it every day this is a really good way to kind of change things up and make it a little more versatile so I love the fact that you can kind of play around with it and layer the necklace with other necklaces Another thing that I love about this is I think it has a really, really chic and clean design. It's very, very basic, right? Like it has um, just the regular gold chain. It has CD. So one thing is it's not super, super flashy. Like let's be honest, the other Dior necklace that I have that has rhinestones and it says Dior, so it is super, super flashy. So this necklace, in my opinion, is a little more understated when, t when comparing it to the other one because a lot of people who aren't really into designer items, actually maybe even some people who are into designer items won't necessarily know what this necklace is. So it is a little more understated and I kind of like that because let's say you want to wear the necklace but you don't want to be like too flashy. I think that this is just a nice, chic, easy, clean design and I absolutely love that about it. Okay, and this leads into my next pro because it is like a chic and clean design I feel as though it's very timeless and elegant and I don't think it's gonna go out of style I think personally this is one of those necklaces that you know a year or two years from now I feel like it's still gonna be in style because it's not like over the top it's just very simple I love the fact that it is versatile and it matches with a lot so that is another positive that I absolutely love about this okay now let's get into the negatives and unfortunately there are some negatives one thing I do feel like this necklace is a little heavy I'm sure you can tell um, that it is a little heavy so sometimes it's, it's like not one of those necklaces like this one right here I can't even notice or feel that it's on my my neck but this one because it is heavy I can feel that it's on my neck because it's kind of like weighing down a little bit so that is one thing it is heavy another thing that is really really annoying I'm not gonna lie the other necklace does this too is it has a tendency to twist it drives me crazy it doesn't matter like how flat I put it on it has a tendency to, to twist so keep that in mind I find myself during the day having to adjust it and having to kind of like look at myself in the mirror to make sure that it's not twisting now there have been days where I put it on like perfect and it doesn't twist but that doesn't happen very often. I personally have found that this necklace does twist, so just be aware of that, but it's not a huge, huge deal. Another thing is it's a little bit of a pain to put it on, and I'm gonna give you an example of what I mean. Okay, so let me take it off. So you have this necklace. So first, you have to make sure that when you put it on, you kind of like hold it like this. You kind of like hold it flat. So I'm like moving my hair out, trying to hold it flat, 
and then I will use the lobster clasp, which is easy, but I never know like which one to put it on. So there are times that I'll put it on and I'll be like, okay, that's a little too tight. It's choking me a little bit. So then I have to like readjust it. And then once I adjust it, I have to make sure that it like lays flat. So that is a little bit of a, nu a nuisance. It's just kind of a pain. So keep that in mind as well. Another con, and this is kind of an obvious, but you guys, it is $750, which again, for fashion jewelry, it is so expensive. So this is definitely something you you are paying for the name, as I stated earlier, but that is something I had to put on, on a, as a con. Like, for example, this necklace right here, I think it was on sale for like 30 bucks, so $30, and then I'm wearing it with a $750 necklace. So again, you are strictly paying for the designer name, so keep that in mind. Okay, so those are my pros and cons for the necklace. Now the question of the day is, would I recommend it? So just like everything, it definitely depends on the person as to whether or not this is worth it to you. But for me, I find that I have been reaching for this so much. As I stated, it's so versatile. I can wear it with my casual outfits. I can wear it with my work outfits. I love the way it looks when you wear it by itself. I love the way it looks when you layer it. Even though there are some negatives, which I had mentioned with it being heavy and twi twisting, I still think it is so chic and classy and elegant, and I just love the way it looks. This is probably one of my favorite necklaces, whether I layer it with another necklace or wear it by itself. I just think it looks so beautiful and it's chic, it's stylish. So again, just like when I do my handbag videos and I say, is it worth it? It's definitely a matter of opinion. So for me, paying the $750, well, I, I didn't pay that because I did have a gift card, but paying that amount for this necklace was worth it to me because of the cost per wear. I do wear it quite a bit and I just absolutely, when I look at it, I just absolutely love it. But to someone else who isn't into it, it might not be worth it to them. But for me personally, because of how much I've been reaching for it and because of all the positives I told you before, I would definitely recommend it. And I would have to say between this one and the Dior rhinestone one, if I would just have to do a quick comparison, I would probably prefer this one over that one, even though I love that one and I would never get rid of it because my husband bought it for me, so it's so special. I just think this one, I find that I wear this more. One of the reasons I think is because it's not as flashy. Like the Dior necklace, it does have the Dior logo and it does have Dior rhinestone, so it's kind of a little more in your face, whereas this one's a little more understated, so I like that. So for me, even though there are negatives, the positives definitely outweigh it for me. So if you ask me my opinion, I would definitely say this necklace is worth it because of how much I wear it. So I hope I helped to break it down a little bit, but if you guys have any questions, like in particular about this necklace, please let me know. I will be sure to link this exact necklace as well as this little initial pendant as well in case you wanted to get one of these, you know, with your initials or your child's initial on it. I think these two pair really nicely and this one actually also pairs really nicely nicely with my other Dior necklace as well. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope I helped. If you're new to my channel, make sure to hit that little subscribe button. And I would love to have you follow me on Instagram as well. Have a wonderful day, you guys, and I'll see you in my next video.